Well, hello, friends. Welcome to uh, another another quick, short, little road reflection action. Road reflection action. I like that. Uh, <laughs> coming at you from the car, doing a car cast. Here we go. Um, hey, I, I, I hate to keep bringing this up, but I want to go back to that loyalty day stuff. And, you know, I've noticed something with, with this, uh, of them kind of co-opting... Um, co-opting... May Day to become fucking Loyalty Day, right? And it comes in correspondence with uh, the treatment of workers that we're seeing in our society today, where uh, you have a lot of people saying, like, well, it's really hard to hire people because, you know, like, people just don't want to work. There's nobody that wants to work these days. And you know, you, you hear a lot of excuses from people as to why, why people don't want to work, right? And they and they claim like, oh, well, it's because unemployment's too high. Unemployment's too high. And that's why people uh, don't really want to work because unemployment compensation is just way too high. And look, I've, I've been on unemployment. Um, I, I got fired from a job. I got let go, whatever the term is. Uh, from a job that I particularly did care for, but the plan was to stay there for a year, save up some money, um, and then, you know, start touring little by little more and more so that I wouldn't be destitute while uh, being a touring comedian. Well, that plan didn't really work out, and I was destitute for a number of years, uh, going gig to gig and, and hoping that I could <laughs> put food on the table and put gas in my car to get to the next city. Uh, that point aside, I've been I've been on unemployment. I've 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 uh, lived on unemployment, and and I gotta say, you know, um, had I not been at my parents when all this stuff went down, um, I probably would not have been able to survive on that money. Um, you know, with the bills that I had, with rent, with whatever else. I don't think I would have really been able to survive on that money. And unemployment now is, uh, it's like 300 plus another three, it's like 339 plus another 300 a week, something along those lines. You know, it's still under $700 is what they're, what they're saying unemployment compensation is. And, uh, you know, there, there's a, I, I posted this little meme up that shows you like what 40 hours at $15 an hour actually fucking looks like and it's it's still under what unemployment compensation is you know 40 hours at 15 bucks an hour is roughly $600 so it's still under then that's before taxes and all that other shit gets taken out so you're looking at maybe 500 bucks a week um, and look in some cities that can be enough, right? Like 500 bucks a week sounds great to so some people. Some people are like, holy shit, that's an improvement in, in my in my city. That can get me real far. In the city like Pittsburgh, it can get you relatively far if it's 500 bucks a week, right? Um, but if you go, to, if you're if you're somebody, if you're an average working class person living in a city like. San Diego or San Francisco or New York City or Chicago or uh, Seattle or any of these big fucking cities where the rents are are you know skyrocket. It's way too expensive to fucking live there, and you know unless you have two jobs and work sixty to eighty hours in a week um, and basically have no free time at all uh, to take care of your 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 body, your mind, and your emotions then you can't fucking survive in these cities. That's just the reality of it. So, you know, I, I look at things like, quote, loyalty day instead of May Day, right? Instead of celebrating the working class, instead of uplifting workers all across the world, America decides it, it needs... Uh, compliance, right? Stop asking for a fifteen uh, fifteen dollars an hour uh, minimum wage increase, okay? Even though fifteen dollars an hour is still way too fucking low. Uh, 
Stop asking for that. Stop asking for universal health care. Stop asking for cops to be less murderous. Uh, stop asking for a reformation of systems. Stop asking for health care industries and, or I'm sorry, health insurance industries controlling health care and, 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 you know, how sick people are, are taken care of. Stop asking for those things. Comply and be loyal to a country like America that is capitalist and a crypto-fascist country now that, now that Biden's in charge. Uh, and do what we fucking tell you. You see a lot of these laws, right? A lot of the rhetoric that you hear on the media, uh, where, where uh, the media is coming out and doing stories and talking to business owners, and they're like, well, why do you think people don't want to work? Oh, it's because unemployment's too high. Oh, really? You don't think it's because you, you pay your fucking workers like trash? That you, de that you dehumanize them by giving them virtually nothing? You don't think it's that? You don't think that's that has something to do with it? You don't think that you're paying them ten dollars an hour and and giving them twenty, you know, barely twenty hours to work, no benefits, so they don't have health insurance, they can barely put food on their table, and they have to go to another fucking job uh, that they have to, and they're just virtually exhausted. And if they fuck up even once, that could mean that they're gonna lose their job and go back on unemployment anyway. The way I see it is you can complain all you want about unemployment being too high, but it's really not. The way I see it, it's, it's the fact that the working class in America over the last year has had time to think, has had time to uh, contemplate and look back on their years of employment and basically arrive to the conclusion that they have been exploited. That's probably what a lot of work class people have. Even I, I did that, right? I was very hesitant on taking any kind of part-time job or anything like that because I just didn't want to go back to being exploited by some fucking corporation. And unfortunately, because of desperation and, and all that kind of shit, um, I've had to and, and things are, are going to change and shift and all that kind of stuff and that's uh, that'll, I'll explain that in due time. But, um, But we've, but we've come to that point where, where we looked at ourselves and said, you know, we value ourselves. We, we think that we're, we're doing a damn good job and deserve to be paid for doing a damn good job. And these people, the, the shareholders or, you know, fucking board of directors, these people that have zero, they put zero of their own labor uh, into this company are getting more money than these workers. This doesn't seem right. So they want to be treated fairly. You know, they want to make sure that uh, not only are they treated fairly, but they're also, you know, they have a purpose in their life. So they don't want to just do an arbitrary job. The relationship with work is starting to change within the working class. And what and what is the media doing? What is corporate media doing? And what is, what are our, our politicians doing? What is the narrative that they are developing surrounding this uh, this this sort of awakening within the working class? Well, they're trashing it, and they're saying, "Well, you're just lazy, and you don't want to work, and you just want free money, and you want to suck off the government teat." No, we, we want to be treated better. If unemployment is 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 higher than than minimum wage, then it sounds like minimum wage needs to be higher. Unemployment is supposed to help you get by in the in in the interim of you looking for a new job. In the interim of you setting up your own business, perhaps. And if that is the case, if you're just going to continue this unemployment uh, anyway you know, then you should encourage people to be innovative. You should encourage people to invest in themselves. Put a UBI in place instead of this unemployment insurance stuff. Put a UBI in place and encourage people to follow their dreams. Innovate. Invest in themselves because you're now investing in them instead of Wall Street and the stock market and all that crap. All that fake bullshit. That Ponzi scheme. 
really what they're trying to do by saying unemployment is too high and we need to get, I mean, Joe Biden's been saying this the whole time is he wants to get America back to work and he won't sacrifice the economy uh, for the, the pandemic. You know, that's why he pushed the vaccines as much as he did. Even though the vaccines aren't really a way to stop the spread of the virus, it just means that you won't get symptoms, right? Like, it it, it doesn't, it, it basically helps you not get uh, the symptoms of COVID-19 so that you don't end up on a ventilator and have long-lasting problems from it. That's the point behind the vaccines. And again, I'm not advocating for you to either take or not take the vaccine. Do what you feel is right and make the decision for yourself based on what information you have learned about it. But that was the push for the vaccines. But they have a major but they have a major cure all by the way, and that's in CBD. Uh, CBD prevents the it's an antiviral that prevents the you know the uh, fucking uh, virus from entering your body or I'm sorry entering your cells not your body if it's in your body it, it prevents it that's that's one of the qualities of CBD but instead of instead of pushing the the, the legalization of marijuana it's let's do this vaccine thing let's roll out the vaccine thing so if people are vaccinated then you know what the, now you know you're here the, and and this is the same buzz that you heard last year is like if you're outside it's it's very difficult for this virus to to transmit so if you're outside you can be unmasked you know try to socially distance but if you can't you should be fine like that's why everybody went to outdoor seating and now all of a sudden it's like oh we have a vaccine and the narrative is the exact same as it was last year when we didn't have a vaccine and that's because, you know, they're trying to exploit people's goldfish memories and all that kind of stuff. But the whole point was, if we get people vaccinated, we can get people back to work. That was the whole point. And he wants people to get back to work because billionaires need to continue exploiting. That's that's the only way they can get, a, they can get an erection, okay? Jeff Bezos hasn't fucked in a year. Because he hasn't really been able to... I mean, he's been he's been exploiting his workers, but he hasn't really been able to exploit his workers. Do you know what I mean? Like, to the point where he can get a full erection, it hasn't happened. Sure, he's going to be a trillionaire, but really what he gets off on is the suffering of mankind. And he really hasn't been able to do all that uh, uh, this year. So it's it's been, it's been hard on him. That's why Bill Gates and Melinda Gates are getting a divorce, right? They haven't been able to fuck over the, you know, on a, on a bed, on a waterbed filled with the tears of the working class. They just haven't been able to do that. It's the only way that they can both come and that's, and they haven't been able to do that. But it's all about getting people back to work. And now you, you basically, by not increasing minimum wage, which he's, which he's not going to do, right? Like, the corporate media keeps saying he's going to increase uh, the minimum wage, but, but he ain't going to do it. You know that he ain't going to do it. We all know that he's not going to do it. He's not a progressive, uh, don't believe that gaslighty bullshit. And now in order to shame the working class back into work, and, and to get people comfortable with reducing unemployment again, which I believe that they're going to do, uh, just like they did the last time, right? I think it was like you were getting $600 a week plus an additional 600 or something like that. Uh, I'm sorry, I don't have the numbers uh, off the top of my head, but... It was substantially larger than what it what what they're doing now. I think it might have been that. I think it's like twelve hundred bucks a week or something like that, which is great for for some people, like the people that were eligible to get it. Right. That's the other part of unemployment too. Is they're complaining about the fact that like people, you know, unemployment's too high, but like not everybody's qualified to get unemployment. I wasn't qualified to get unemployment because the government doesn't see anything creative as a real job, right? They don't look at that as a real job. They don't look at, there's a lot of shit that they, you know, so a lot of people fell through the cracks, but the people that didn't fall through the cracks were, were helped a little bit by this unemployment insurance if they were even able to get it because then there, you were hearing stories, I mean, state after state where the unemployment lines were fucking jammed and nobody could get a hold of anybody, Yep. Unemployment takes a long time for people to get. And meanwhile, the banks get 
six trillion dollars, no problem, right? That's that's quote directly deposited into their account without any question, but within within twelve hours of them deciding this is issue. But unemployment's going to be a nightmare. So again, the narrative is pretty false that unemployment's too high. It's just I think the I think the working class have valued themselves, and and now they're demanding that if you want it, if you want people to fucking come work for you, then you should have a decent like you should have a decent level of compensation and good benefits that don't take thirty percent of your paycheck. After taxes. Livable wage should cover rent, food, water, internet, health care. And, you know, other utilities as well. I'm going to put utilities under rent. If it doesn't, then that's not a living wage. It's called wage theft. It's called wage slavery. And that's what America has. So, again, instead of saying we should, we should champion the workers... What do they want? They want loyalty. They want compliance. Stop asking for this stuff. We're Stop it. Go back to work. Go back to being exhausted so you can't march on the streets. Go back to being exhausted so you can't fight for health care. Go back to being exhausted. Do the bidding of the billionaire class. So and, and stop asking Joe Biden to do something that, that every fucking industrialized country has done. I'm seeing this narrative play out, uh, and I don't know how many other people are seeing it play. I mean, every day on social media, I'm, I'm getting another, like, it's it's just this onslaught of people sharing these, you know, uh, increase the minimum wage kind of memes, and, and and I had to think about this loyalty day thing. It's It's asking for compliance. That's all they want from you. Subservience. That's what the Biden administration wants from you. That's why they, instead of celebrating workers, they put loyalty day in front. You understand? Like, these people don't give a fuck about you. They're not trying to better your lives. They're trying to get rich for themselves. That's what they want. I hope some Democrats fucking watch this and some some gears start turning in their heads. I really do. Because I even hear like liberals and Democrats that that I'm friends with that are parroting the same narrative. Well, what about the small businesses? And blah, 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 blah. Well, maybe unemployment is too high and maybe we should reduce it so that people can go back to work and actually do the job. No. Jobs aren't something you do to just drone on and kill time for eight hours. You, you, we need to change the relationship with work. It should be meaningful. It should be doing something that you actually want to do. I bet you by July 4th, because there's this big push to get everybody vaccinated by July 4th, so we can have Independence Day again, which is just some shit that he stole from um, Bill Pullman. Is it Bill Pullman in Independence Day? The cinema Independence Day? It's just the same fucking speech that he stole from him. I bet you around that time, they'll cut unemployment again. Joe Biden's been trying to do this shit forever. He wants to cut social programs, uh, social security, welfare, all that sort of stuff. He's been trying to cut it forever, and now he's found a way to do it. He's achieving all of his dreams by killing all of yours. That's who Joe Biden is. And I hope more people can kind of see this shit and put to start putting things like this together. All right, uh, that's it for now. Um, I've got a couple of uh, fun dispatches coming out for you guys that I, or I would say important dispatches coming out for you guys. Uh, you know, I've got the Kashmir video up. I've got tickets to the next show up. Uh, so I hope you guys will join me for the virtual shows. I hope you guys will keep checking out these short videos. May 17th, we'll start the new live stream schedule. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, 5 p.m. Uh, so, so stay tuned for that. I, I've got an idea of what I want to do 
for that live stream, that, 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 that comeback live stream on May 17th. It's kind of a special day for me. Um, I've got Jesse Jett. Uh, he's going to be sending me a, a, a beat that he made that I really love, and I'm going to use that as sort of the intro loop. Uh, so while I'm doing all my shares, you guys don't have to like watch me awkwardly say things to you guys and forget halfway through because I'm doing multiple things. Um, and the, it'll be a fun little like waiting room music, I believe some of you guys have called it. So that's going to be put together, which is exciting. So I'm working on that stuff. Uh, so yeah, some really good, some really fun things are, are coming up on the horizon. Things are, things are changing in a positive direction for me. Uh, schedules is going to be a little bit more opened up and I'll, I'll elaborate a little bit more on that, uh, in the near future. So, um, yeah. Uh, but till then, I hope you guys are staying safe. I hope you guys are staying well. Um, you know, make sure you like, share, subscribe, all that stuff. Go to my website, krishmohanhaha.com. Uh, and we'll see you guys uh, very, very soon. Thanks again.